So, so a little trip down memory lane, if you would like. I want to take you back to, it would have been about 1974, I think, when your old mate Rog was um, 14 and uh, just starting to realise that um, actually I didn't have to rely on mum and dad for everything, that I could actually carve a life for myself, I guess. I might have been thinking about growing up, still thinking about that really. Um, but there it was, 1974, mum and dad were going to go away for a weekend. I think they must have left us in the care of a, a grandparent or something. And I clearly remember my dad taking me down to um, the vegetable patch down the end of the garden and asking me to dig the bean trench. So we have this tradition here in the UK of growing runner beans up poles or um, up trellis like this. And we have a tradition of digging a, a trench through the soil into which we put lots of compost and green waste. And uh, this was a, a foreign concept to me. I think he must have um, offered me some sort of reward, maybe a bit of cash or something. Um, and I, I don't know why, but something clicked and uh, Rog had a go for the first time of doing a bit of gardening and getting paid for it. And that was a turning point in, uh, in my life. Thank you, Dad for uh, throwing me that challenge and that couple of bob. It could have paid me a bit more in, in hindsight. Um, but uh, if you got into gardening to earn money, you probably got into the wrong the wrong trade. So here I am, uh, <clears throat> 40 uh, years later, um, still digging bean trenches every year. And trying to do it one-handed as I film is not so easy. But basically, we're, <laughs> we're digging all the way along, you can see where we dug um, a month or two back, and we've backfilled with um, with compost from our compost heap, which is just over there behind the pumpkin. So I'm going to fetch some more of that compost over when I've dug this half here. But I wanted to show you something else, um, and these are last year's runner bean plants, actually trying to grow again at the uh, the tip there of the shoot. But these um, these roots are famous for um, storing. Oh, <laughs> storing nitrogen these these um thick fleshy roots here um they're called nitrogen fixing roots so um growing runner beans and apparently some some of the peas some of that family um is it the legume family uh store nitrogen in the roots and release that nitrogen back into the back into the soil so there we go there we go as well as getting the lovely crop of uh tasty beans in the summer and this year for us we're going to do them in the autumn we're doing this very late but actually that's with a, a purpose because the school is closed at the moment uh, and I'm hoping that all our pupils can come back in the autumn we're kind of rescheduling our production uh, of vegetables so that they're available in September October uh, when the pupils are here so the next step is to um, finish digging this let's see if we can uh, put this camera down somewhere uh, where you can see close up view close to the action hope you can see that anyway if you can't see it you can hear it the old grunts there the famous crooks grunt oh. You still there? Oh, right, there you go. So you can see uh, we've come down to the, uh, the same depth as we originally had 
that trench there. We've backfilled that trench already with uh, some, some compost. So before I put any more compost into there, I'm just going to go through and break open the, oh, the bottom of the trench. Might be easier with a fork, actually. This is a bit like double digging. Oh, takes me back to my college days when we had to learn how to do that. Breaking up the subsoil to allow the roots to get down in there. There you go. I'll do that bit at the end and then I need to get some compost shoved in there. There you go. That's been dug and we've we've opened up the, uh, the bottom of the trench as well. So that's nice and loose so that they've got a good 45 to 60 centimetres, 18 inches to 2 foot depth of crumbly soil that they can grow into once we've filled that with compost. The roots can get down below there and we'll put some of that soil back on top. Here's our really well rotted uh, compost from the compost heap which we can start to uh, shove into the bean trench. Don't forget those sound effects, very important. I've told you before, I hope you're taking notice of this. It's one of the secrets to successful gardening. Sound effects, definitely. Um, so we're doing this actually quite late in the spring. Um, if you were doing this in the winter or even late autumn, you could put fresher green waste in there, kind of fresher compost, because it would have six months to kind of break down and form compost in that trench uh, before the spring. But because this is really only a week or two before we plant out our runner beans, I'm using well rotted compost in there. Come on, fella. So that we can we can plant straight into it. Right, leave me a minute. I'm gonna just uh, put some more in there for a moment. There we go. So, that's done. We put a full wheelbarrow's worth of uh, compost, well rotted compost in there. We've also got some old um, compost bags there, which we'll use when we um, when we come to actually plant the runner beans. Um, I'm going to backfill with some soil now um, to almost to the top of this this trench, just leaving ourselves a little a little bit of a hollow so that we can use that um, that grow bag compost uh, on the top there when we actually come to plant. So let's get this filled up now. Then more sound effects, please. Whee! There we go. So, we've filled the bean trench now with uh, about half full with compost and then I've topped it up with this soil. To be honest, we've been putting um, bean trenches here for about 10 years, so even the soil we dig out is nice and rich. So all I need to do now is to fill the other side. Oh, don't forget, sound effects, I've told you before. There we go. As you can see, the ground is quite soft underneath here because we've been uh, digging it over and putting soft compost in there. And they forecast rain tonight, so I'm expecting in a couple of days' time for this um, where I've uh, filled the trenches, I'm expecting this to sink down after the rain and then we can rake uh, the final level of the soil in there because we've got some spare soil here. Here you go, and then in about a week's time, we'll get our runner beans in there, get our sticks in. If you're lucky, I might show you how we do that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, leave any comments on uh, underneath this video on YouTube in the comments section. <laughs>